Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Friday, July the 6th, 2018. It's the weekend, boys and girls, so I hope you have some great plans, and I hope if it's going to be just to relax or to grill or just have time with the family or get some errands done, I hope it's productive and blessed. Well, today I want to talk to you a little bit about pearls. Now, you know, I love jewelry. I love all kinds of jewelry. Now, I'm not attached to it or anything, and I'm not like I've got to have the best of everything and all that, but I've always enjoyed adorning myself. When I was a kid, especially, I would play dress up with my sister, and uh, we would raid my mother's jewelry box, and we'd put on beads and things like that. I remember my niece, Jackie, who is now a grown woman and, and a mother to those wonderful two two little boys that I like to brag about. One of the first things she used to do when she would go to grandma's house is, is go in the jewelry box and say, beads, beads, grandma, I want to wear your beads. So I love jewelry and I sold fine jewelry. I managed to find jewelry counter at Belt Department Store for a few years. And that was always a lot of fun watching when the new jewelry came in. And we had everything from, you know, $20 on up to $10,000 in that department. But I especially liked learning all about jewelry, but I, most of my jewelry, I must admit, in, in my jewelry box now is, you know, the fake stuff. And one of the things I really enjoy is pearls. Now, um, pearls are very special because if it's, it can vary in price from real pearls to fake pearls dramatically. Now, see these pearls right here? This, this strand of pearls right here that I have is not real pearls, obviously. I got these in uh, uh, on a clearance rack in a in a little boutique in the mall, and I paid three dollars and twenty seven cents for these fake pearls, as opposed to some real pearls that uh, we carried in the store. If we had something like this and they were the real ones, they would it could be upwards of thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, why are pearls, real pearls, natural pearls, so expensive? I'm going to tell you why. I, I looked it up on the internet this morning. I'm going to give you a definition of how pearls are formed. Well, natural pearls form when an irritant, usually a parasite or maybe even just a grain of sand works its way into an oyster, a mussel, or a clam, and as a defense mechanism, a fluid is used to coat the irritant, and layer upon layer of this irritant coating is deposited until a lustrous pearl is formed. Hmm, isn't that interesting? So I'm thinking, wow. So in other words, it's through those trials and tribulations and irritating things in our lives, something beautiful comes. Isn't that something? Think about all the irritants you've had in your life. All those irritating little grains of sand or parasites that have come into your life. If you let them, they can do their job to refine you Till eventually you can become a beautiful pearl. And that's something. So, uh, you know, pearls come in all different kinds. I mean, you've got natural white pearls and you've got natural black pearls that are a little bit more. But then you might have some of these fake pearls like I have. Look at this, all different colors. Green and orange and blue and brown. You know what? These are nothing more than plastic with some coloring on them. They're not real pearls. They're fun, but they're not real. So don't substitute those real pearls in your life for fake ones. I mean, this is, you know, none of this stuff I just showed you cost me more than $10, maybe even less than that. So pearls, there's lots of pearls you can have in your life. You could have beautiful, precious people pearls in your life the real ones, the ones that have true value and worth. You could have great pearls of wisdom in your life and in your heart. You know, there's always fads and, and trends of the month going on when in fact, the real true pearls is the true wisdom that you can carry with you till your dying day. 
No, on our wedding day, my husband and I, we said our traditional vows to each other, but then we asked the pastor marrying us, would it be okay if we left a little space for each of us so that we could say something personal to one another in front of witnesses? And the pastor said, well, of course. So when it came to that part in the vows, we'd said our traditional vows and we were getting ready to do the personal part. I said something special to my husband and he was going to say something special back to me. And neither of us knew what the other one was going to say. And my husband said to me, Jeannie said, there's a story in the Bible about a man who uh, had a pearl of great price. It was a, a very important and special item that he had in his life. And he lost it, so he worked diligently and spent every waking moment to find that pearl of great price because it was that important to him. And he said, Jeannie, you are my pearl of great price. And to this day, 33 and a half years later, my husband still calls me his pearl of great price. What an honor. So I guess he looks at me and says, she's the real deal. He wouldn't trade me in for some fake piece of jewelry. He wouldn't trade me in for some piece of plastic, some coated piece of plastic. No, not at all. He wants the pearl of great price. That's what he wants. Not this stuff, but the real deal. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look for pearls in your life today and go be a blessing to somebody today. You know, you might be the only one who is. Go out there and look for somebody that you can be a pearl of great price to. Somebody that you could be someone of value to and make them feel like they too or a pearl of great price, okay? And hey, listen to my uh, YouTube channel. Go back, become a subscriber, and you can watch some past Take Twos, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R, Jeannie Sigler. And another great way that you could spend your day today is by listening to my radio station, WRMZ.org. To us, that music and that programming that we pass to you is, uh, is, are some great pearls also, okay? So be a pearl of great price to somebody. Accept no imitations. Don't go in for the fake stuff, but be real. And uh, in turn, accept nothing but the real deal. Okay, I love you. Have a great weekend, everybody. I hope it's a pearl. I love you. See you on Monday. Bye-bye.